Imagine standing on the edge of a vast, unexplored ocean. The breeze whispers secrets of the deep, urging you to dive into waters unknown. This is the allure of spiritual awakening, a journey into the depths of self-discovery where profound truths await. But beware, for beneath the serene surface lie currents that can stir your very soul. Have you ever found yourself in a maze where every turn seems right yet leads nowhere? This is the essence of the first dark side effect of spiritual awakening, the labyrinth of confusion. It's a state where the familiar becomes foreign and certainty fades into a mist of questions. Imagine waking up in a city you've never visited. The language is unknown, the streets are unfamiliar, and every direction seems a puzzle. This is how the awakened spirit feels, suddenly plunged into a world where old beliefs and perceptions no longer hold true. The once solid ground of your understanding now shifts beneath your feet. Confusion, however, isn't just a state of disarray. It's a crucible for transformation. It forces us to question what we thought we knew, pushing us to seek deeper truths. In this confusion, we're not lost, but rather being led to new paths of self-discovery. You might ask, how do I navigate this perplexity? The key lies in embracing the uncertainty. Like a child exploring a new playground, approach each day with curiosity. Let go of the need for immediate answers. Sometimes, the most profound insights arise from simply dwelling in the question, allowing the unknown to be a guide rather than a barrier. As we continue our journey, we encounter the paradox of disconnection, a phase where deepening self-awareness can lead to a sense of isolation. Have you ever felt like an outsider in a crowd, surrounded by people yet profoundly alone? This mirrors the disconnection experienced during spiritual awakening. It's akin to tuning into a frequency that's out of sync with your surroundings. Your interests shift, conversations that once engaged you now seem superficial, and relationships may feel misaligned. It's not that you're moving away from the world, but rather you're moving closer to your true self. This disconnection is not a sign of failure, but a call for authenticity. It's an invitation to forge deeper, more meaningful connections that resonate with your awakened self. Remember, like a tree shedding old leaves to grow new ones, this phase is natural and necessary for personal growth. Embrace this solitude as a space for reflection and self-care. In the quiet, you may discover voices of creativity and wisdom that were previously drowned out by the noise of conformity. Now we venture into the realm of heightened sensitivity and pain, a common yet often misunderstood side effect of awakening. Imagine your senses magnified, each emotion and experience intensified. This is the reality of heightened sensitivity, a double-edged sword that cuts deeply yet reveals profound truths. This increased sensitivity makes you more empathetic, more attuned to the subtleties of your environment and the emotions of others. You may feel the collective pain of the world more acutely, bearing the weight of empathy in ways you never did before. However, this pain is not just a burden. It's a gateway to deeper compassion and understanding. It challenges you to find healthy ways to channel these intense emotions. Expressing them through creative endeavors or mindfulness practices can transform this pain into a source of strength and insight. In embracing this sensitivity, you'll find a unique power, the ability to connect deeply with the world around you, to touch and be touched by the tapestry of life in all its complexity. The fourth dark side effect we confront is the existential crisis. This stage is where the fundamental questions of existence, who am I, and why am I here, take center stage. It's a phase marked by deep introspection and a quest for purpose. Imagine standing at a crossroads with infinite paths sprawling in every direction. 
Each path promises a different version of truth and self. This is the nature of the existential crisis, an overwhelming abundance of choices and possibilities that can lead to a sense of paralysis. However, this crisis is not a trap, but a transition. It's an opportunity to shed outdated identities and beliefs, to forge a more authentic self. The confusion and uncertainty you feel are the labor pains of a new identity being born. In this stage, patience is your ally. Give yourself permission to explore, to dwell in the uncertainty without the pressure of finding immediate answers. Trust that this process, though challenging, is guiding you towards a deeper, more genuine understanding of who you are. In the penultimate stage of our awakening journey, we encounter a subtle yet potent side effect, the illusion of entitlement. This manifests as a belief that our newfound awareness elevates us above others. It's like climbing a mountain, and upon reaching the peak, feeling a sense of superiority over those in the valley below. However, this sense of entitlement can be a deceptive trap. True awakening brings humility, not arrogance. It teaches us that while our paths are unique, they are no more important than anyone else's. Awakening is not a badge of honor, but a process of continuous learning and growth. Remember, enlightenment is not about being better than others. It's about being better than who you were yesterday. It's a journey of inward growth, not outward comparison. When we release this sense of entitlement, we open our hearts to genuine connections and compassionate understanding. Each challenge, from the labyrinth of confusion to the illusion of entitlement, has offered us profound insights and opportunities for growth. Embrace these side effects not as obstacles, but as teachers. They remind us that awakening is a dynamic, ever-evolving process, not a final destination. The true power of this journey lies in its ability to transform us, to reveal the depths of our being, and to connect us more deeply with the world around us. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening adventure. As you continue your own journey, may these insights be a guiding light, illuminating your path towards a deeper, more authentic existence. <laughs>